Hey everyone, this is Randy from BibleBuyingGuide.com. Today I'm taking a look at the Oswald Chambers Bible Legacy Edition from Holman. This is the CSB and it includes the My Utmost for His Highest devotional and also some uh, information from some of his other works. So this is a goat skin edition and includes the full volume of My Utmost for His Highest. It includes commentary, 25 over 25 topical articles, book introductions with information from Oswald Chambers, high quality Bible paper. It is sewn to column text in paragraph with a 9.25 font size and it is line matched, black letter, art gilt edges, three ribbon markers, an elegant two-piece box, concordance, and the overall page size is six by nine. Now, I also give you the overall size rather than the page size because the overall size is what you need if you're going to put it in a case. And that is six and a half by nine and three quarters by 1.6 inches. And it weighs a little over two pounds, 11 ounces. So here's a look at the cover. This is a, an elegant goatskin. Has a deep pebbly green. I like that green. The spine is printed in copper. And copper is a major theme in this Bible. We have three ribbons, three eighths inch ribbons, double sided satin, and black, copper, and red. And the art gilt looks like red under copper rather than just plain gold. Edge line liner with leather with a copper uh, decorative line. The edge line tab is a little stiff. You can see how it's cutting here into the, into the end sheet. But it does lay open easy enough. And then we have a presentation page on a thick end sheet. And then we get into our paper. I'm not sure what the GSM of the paper. It does feel like decent paper. Fairly opaque. Definitely opaque enough. Doesn't have a glare. Little bit of a rough texture. Smooth, but just enough rough texture to be able to grab the pages and turn them easily enough. And to separate them with your thumb like I do. Of course, that's going to depend on the weather in your hands. It is printed in China. And there is our content. A short sketch of Oswald Chambers. That's good information about Oswald Chambers. How to use this Bible. And you can see here it's, it's staying open fairly well. And you'll notice the edges. I have a, a, a darker section and then the lighter section. The darker section is the devotional, my utmost for his highest. And the lighter section is the Bible text. Starting with a daily reading plan. This is interesting because this plan includes a daily reading from My Utmost for His Highest. So it gives you the date and it gives you what you're reading for that day from My Utmost for His Highest and then an Old Testament and a New Testament reading. Now, when you read My Utmost for His Highest, it's also uh, dated. So you're not going to have to find it. I mean, it, it's, it's dated anyway, but it is nice to see that in the reading plan. Then a list of topical articles. So there are all of the articles that are in here. Now these are from other resources by Oswald Chambers. And they're put together, some of them are put together a little awkwardly because they're from other writings. And each of the paragraphs will tell you what writing it's from and what page it's from. So some of them feel a little more random than others. But of course they're well, they're well written. You know, Oswald Chambers is a good writer. So here is the devotional my utmost for his highest starting with the preface and then each each uh, each devotional now i've read this devotional before and i like it a lot like all reading like all writing there's going to be things you do or do not agree with but i do find this to be a very good devotional it gives you the date a title the, the primary scripture with reference and then the devotional. And they're short, simple, to the point, good quality thoughts. And then gives you extra readings. Now in the text, zoom in a touch more there. In the text, you're going to see callouts. And these callouts are sometimes from these extra readings. And sometimes they're not related to the reading at all. Um, so they're, they're sometimes random. They're sometimes related to something on the page. But those are from... The devotional. And so the complete devotional is here. 365 days of reading. 
and then we get into the text here is our 9.25 font this is the bible serif font designed by 2k denmark and then you can see that we have about eight to ten words per line that's a little subjective depending on the size of the words and all that but that's a good rough way to see it across the top we have the book name chapter number and the outer margin then we have the page number in the center and this divided by a copper line and these are in copper chapter numbers in copper under the text we have the footnotes in, in a single column and they're in copper there's a lot of white space between them so they're easy to see and then we have commentary at the bottom of the page and the commentary will give you the resource that it's from with the page number and there's not a lot of commentary and also it usually just covers one or two verses on the page sometimes three or four but not every verse is covered not every in what, what you would consider the, the big verses they're not all covered so this is um, this is good, but it doesn't really cover enough to be a commentary Bible. And here are the articles. Here's the first one, the image of God, and it gives you the title, the range of scriptures, and then the article. Now, you see here at the end of the paragraph, it gives you the resource with page number, resource with page number. And then what it does is this is from page 140, page 141 from Biblical Psychology. Then we go back to page 140 and then page 142. So they're kind of mixed and matched to create the articles. They're not really written as an article. So it might come across a little awkward in some places. I do find the copper printing to be a little too light. I'd like to see this a little darker. You have to have really good light to see this well. There's one of the call outs and it's also in copper. So they don't stand out as far as boldness or anything like that. They don't really get in your way when you're reading. I do like them in the text. I like that a lot. Here's a list. Lists look like lists. Letters look like letters. Like in Ezra. There's some pages don't have commentary and some have quite a bit. Like a lot of information in one verse or one passage. And they're from Oswald Chambers. So they're just one point of view. So they're good for research and you know as always use it for research do your own study and i say that even if i would write it here's a letter you can see that that's indented so it stands out just a little bit poetry is divided into really good places rather than wrapping all the way to the end of the line and then having one or two words on the line or having one word on the line it usually divides in a good place and then wraps the rest under when it does have to wrap like this has two words two words so there's a lot of instances where it just doesn't wrap all the way to the end even even though it could fit more on the page like here it could have put more of this on the line and then wrapped one word but instead they break it in a good place i like that they're more mindful paying a lot more attention to the way poetry looks on the page i like that a lot I do think the chapter numbers are dark enough. Here's one that has a lot of commentary on a page. But they don't usually. Usually don't have that much. Then the New Testament. No information between the Testaments or anything like that. Looking back at the book introductions, it gives you the circumstance of writing contribution to the Bible, the structure, and then wisdom from Chambers. And this wisdom from Chambers is from one of his writings. And in this case, it's from My Utmost for His Highest, December 25th. And they'll be from some of his other books also. Here's a case where the writing is for an article is follows the page numbers from a single book. There are a few that are from multiple books. So here's Mark, and it's the wisdom from Chambers, and this one is from the highest good, page 545. Old Testament quotes are in bold. I like that because it's easy to, to recognize at a glance that it's an Old Testament quote. Then in the back, we have a bibliography. This shows all of the resources used in this Bible. And then a glossary of terms. Now, this is a glossary of words that 
Oswald Chambers used and how he used them. It's not a large glossary, but it, it's a very helpful glossary. And a concordance, this is the same concordance that we see in other Holman study Bibles. So there's quite a bit in here. It has names, which I prefer. There's quite a bit in here. This is a good concordance. Parts of speech where applicable. So I, I like this concordance for study. And then we have the Holman maps. These are on the matte paper. Very colorful, dark, bold colors. Does not include an index, but for the most part, they're easy to read. There are a few places where they do get a little dense, but the text is usually not too crowded if you look close enough and dark enough to see. There's, so there's eight maps. So that is my quick look at the Oswald Chambers Bible Legacy Edition in goatskin. I like this Bible. I like the fact that it has my utmost for his highest built in. I like that a lot. That's a good devotional. I recommend reading it. The commentary is good, but not necessarily uh, a standout part of this Bible because you know this, not every page has it, and most pages only have one or two verses. They don't cover a lot. I like the call-outs. It's just a reminder back and forth of the devotional. The articles are okay, but there's not a lot of them. But they are okay. They are good. Sometimes they seem a little bit random because we have from different resources, so they might work well together and they might not. Some kind, Sometimes can feel a little disjointed, but not too bad. Very easy to read. I like reading this Bible. Not too large. So if you're looking for a devotional Bible, I recommend this one. I like this one a lot. So I'll place links in the notes so that you can make a purchase if you're interested. I'll also play, place links to the written review at Bible Buying Guide where I always go into more detail. If you have any questions, you'll probably find the answer there. If not, let me know. Holman did supply this in exchange for an honest review. Thanks for watching.